You may be intaking poison every single day and you don't even know about it. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Isaac David and this is the Daily Disciple where I <laughs> where I where I help you follow Jesus daily. Um, thank you so much for watching and coming back to my channel. Once again, I put out new videos every Thursday. Uh, I before we get into the video today, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Um, thank you so much you guys for supporting me there on a monthly basis. And if you want to head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to help uh, support this ministry, that would be an amazing amazing thing link in description thanks so much guys now on to the video so today's video um <laughs> is a little bit serious the thumbnail you were like what's going on here this is this seems freaky this seems scary um but it is it's something that we don't like to think about and kind of we like to talk about you know not watching pornography and and that kind of thing because those are the real those are the real bad things you know and and so i made videos about pornography and those kind of things and and and, and the destructive nature of those things Things. And so, yes, so as Christians, if you're a Christian watching, you're like, I'm on board, I'm in, you know what? And maybe you don't even have a problem with pornography in terms of, you, you know, you have a problem with it, but it's not a struggle for you. You're not really tempted in that way because that's just so, that's so dirty, that's so evil, you wouldn't, you would never touch that. And so you're like, you're watching, you know, this stuff, you're like, I'm good, I'm good. Well, today, I want to get into a little bit deeper in terms of what we see as sexualized entertainment and detoxifying our lives from this kind of sexually charged entertainment. Because what is a toxin? Okay, a toxin is poison, right? And so if you have been, you've been, you know, you've eaten a toxin in some way, you you got to get that out somehow, you know. I I know we have a dog, um, a little mini golden doodle. Um, <laughs> I call him Rat Dog um, because we cut like we don't groom him like a poodle. We like. You know, he gets so many knots and stuff, so we just kind of shave him, shave his hair, and he kind of, his face looks kind of like a rat, and so I call him Rat Dog. Anyway, <laughs> so he'll, he'll, he might, you know, I think one time he ate some chocolate or something, and he wasn't allowed to eat chocolate. For a dog, you have to induce vomiting, and that's what we did. He threw up. Dog's not happy about it, but you had to happen because you got to get the toxin out. The thing I think about with a lot of us Christians is we we know what the really bad things are. Like we're not going to drink bleach because we're not that stupid. But there are things within what we're consuming. Not talking about food here, but entertainment that are laced with toxin that are laced with poison. So let's talk about them. Let's talk about how to how to get them out. But first, we got to identify them. Okay, this idea of detoxifying our life from sexually charged content. Ultimately, ourself, like our identity, we have been cleansed of all sin, of all shame, of all guilt by Jesus. So this is in some sort of way of cleansing ourselves in order to present ourselves, you know, to God and say, God, did I do enough? Did am I holy enough now? Am I, can you accept me now? Can you love me now, God? That's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is take a step, right? And so if you're not a Christian, this is this is this this might be new to you, but for us Christians, we're taking a step into who God is creating us to be. He's molding us into the image of his son. So before, before we were Christian, we were just like sexually charged entertainment or, you know, uh, that, that kind of thing. I'm all, you know, doesn't even matter, right? It's not no big deal. But now that we're, we're with God, right? We're on God's side. We're accepted and loved by God. We've been transformed. Our heart, we've been, you know, our heart of stone has been transformed into a heart of flesh. And now we want to please God and we want to love God. So now this is our step into seeing what might be the things in our life, the content that we're consuming that are actually against God, that we're actually not only like sinning in that way, but they're actually, you know, taking little pieces of our soul and, and moving us further away from God than bringing us to him. So that's why I want to make this video because I want to help us discover what those things might be and how we might address and, and detoxify our life from that. So I think a lot of this comes from social media. Um, you know, I put out a little video about pornography um, maybe a month ago. And, um, and, and I talked a, a, a little bit about even just social media, Instagram, the explore page, um, finding content in there, pictures of scantily clad women or whatever it may be, videos or whatever, whatever that may be. And, and 
just kind of this encouragement to avoid that that stuff right and so I think that that's a big piece, right? So if you are on Instagram and, and I want to bring this to the practical level here, I don't want to just stay all in theory zone where it's like, yeah, we know it's wrong to look with lust. Yeah, we know it's, you know, we want to save ourselves with marriage, obviously, and we want to keep our heart uh, pure because that's what God desires of us. But let's bring it to a practical level here. Um, if you are, if you are seeing somebody's post, maybe you're friends with somebody that is posting pictures that, that tempt you, right? mute that person <laughs> you know a lot of people they don't know like you can mute your friends or you can mute acquaintances or you can mute people that you follow that you maybe feel obligated to follow and if you don't unfollow them on instagram mute them mute their stories mute their posts you won't be tempted in that way on TikTok, there's a there's a thing called the for you page and if you don't know about that there's a page where you just scroll pretty much forever and it just feeds you random people's videos on there it is laced, laced with uh, with sexual and ent entertainment, right? It is laced with perverted jokes, with with um, with s sexual dancing, with what you know, all all the above, right? And so, what I want you to do, if you're on TikTok, is if you're gonna go through the for you page, and and I get it, right? I get it. Um, you want to, you want <laughs> this is a cool source of entertainment and there's lots of funny, like actually uplifting stuff on there. But if you're going to do it, you got to be committed to saying, holding on that, that image and, and clicking non-interested. You got to be committed to that. And this is the thing with social media as we're navigating this new age of, uh, you know, it's been going on for, you know, a couple decades now where we're, we're in this social media, we're in this internet phase uh, of humanity. And now, you know, our, our idea, right, when the Bible says flee temptation, our version of that is going to be either saying not interested, is going to be muting people, or it's going to be deleting that app completely because we want to honor God in this thing. And I'm not going to be the, I'm going to be the first one to say this is not easy, right? Like, I'm not perfect at this. But the worst thing that you could do is to become complacent and almost asleep in, in what you're consuming to just say, Oh, you know, I have Christian freedom. So I'm just going to, you know, I, this is okay. You know what? I'm a mature Christian. I can, I can handle this stuff. I, I, it's not really affecting me because trust me, you, if you inject enough toxin into yourself, um, you're going to start seeing the effects and it's not going to be good stuff right? And there's going to be some pain. You might need to induce vomiting to get it out. We'll be serious about pornography, right? And we'll be really stern about that. We'll be, you know, you gotta, you gotta stop. Like that's tearing your soul apart. It's taking advantage of women. It is, you know, exploitation. It is just, it, it is a distortion of God's, God's, um, you know, design for sexuality and, and how that is supposed to look and, and what context that's supposed to be in. And we can be really solid about that. And that's, awesome we got to be solid about that but also we got to be solid about in our own minds digging through what we consume and f and and really truly figuring out what that is right so this is what i want you to do it's a little bit of a, a challenge an encouragement um and, and you know you don't have to do it if you don't want to but take it take it as a challenge okay whatever you consume in a day so whether you go on instagram and you're and you're scrolling through instagram or youtube and you're scrolling through YouTube and you're clicking on your usual subscriptions, what you watch, what you what you find entertaining. Really if you start evaluating the things that maybe you let slide a while ago because you thought, you know what, maybe maybe there's some of this content that's not so good. Maybe they're not dressed appropriately, um, that's not good. Or maybe they make sexually sexual jokes and, and that's not good. But you thought, you know what, it's no big deal for me. I'm, I'm pretty mature. I can, I can handle that stuff. I can wiggle my way around that to get to the good parts because the good parts are, are just good enough to stick around. So maybe you made those judgments once, you know, a while ago, but I want you to come back to those moments of, of, of really for one day judging and discerning every single piece of content that you watch. You're no longer on cruise control. You are now navigator and you're going to decide look should i watch this video should i follow continue to following this person could i should i continue to to um you know scroll aimlessly on my explore page or on the tiktok for you page or on instagram uh, on youtube homepage? is that something beneficial for me 
is that gonna be good for my soul? And, and just go for one day and, and figure that out. Okay, rant done. I just wanna say to you guys, wherever you're at, right? If you are really struggling with this and you feel like you're losing a lot more battles than you are winning, I want you to know that God is with you in this. Call upon his name. Too often we're doing this on our own. We feel like it's just about our, you know, our willpower that we're trying to overcome these struggles. But no, it's God's power and his presence in our life that we can truly overcome these things. So become aware of his presence. He's with you all the time in everything you do. And that might become a scary thing. Like, believe me, when the Bible talks about fear of God, there's an aspect to that where it's like, God is with me all the time. God sees every single thing I do. But the amazing thing is, is not only is God tr totally transcendent, like he is above all creation. Like he is totally, you know, he is separate. He is holy, he is, he's magnificent. He's transcendent in that way. He's also imminent, which means he is with us, right? He wants a personal relationship with you and he knows what you're going through. So don't hide these the, the sexual temptation, uh, whether, whether it's pornography or it's just a picture on Instagram. I want you guys to begin to be honest about where you're at. Because if you're like me, maybe your temptation isn't pornography, but maybe your temptation is, is letting your eyes wander on different social media platforms. And you know what? It's almost just as deadly. You know what? Like we we let's be let's be vigilant about this. Okay. Well, that's it. That's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll, oh, also, if you haven't seen, uh, I have a new YouTube channel called Isaac David. Um, I put lots of fun videos on there. I have a YouTube video on there about my minimalist studio. I have a video about um, a Q and A with my little sister on there. I'm sure you're gonna want to watch that. It's very cute. Very fun. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so subscribe to that channel. Uh, link in description. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.